Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So this is me making my daughter's birthday cake. So I'm no baker or anything, but I absolutely love to make my children's birthday cakes. It's something that I just really enjoy. I love cooking and baking. And I just like to know that I made the cake and I can do like the design that they want. But this is for my daughter's first birthday. So she is my first girl after three boys. And I was very excited to make a girly cake. Things like that are just like my dream. So... I really looked forward to this. So I didn't have really like a set plan that I wanted. I just knew I just wanted something very girly and pretty. So I went for a double layered fairy cake and I adored it. She liked it. She ate the fairy off the top. I did like a cake smash photo shoot for her and she ate the fairy straight off the top. So here I have baked four Madeira sponges and then I'm layering it with jam and Swiss meringue buttercream. I always prefer Swiss meringue, it's so smooth, it's so soft, it really just makes the cakes so much nicer. And then once I filled all the inside, I did my crumb coating around the edge and evened it all out. I always do a crumb coating just so that when you put the layer on, if you're doing buttercream, you won't get crumb pieces in it and if you're doing sugar paste, it will help it to stick. So I always make sure that I do that. And then I'm making the three little layers um, to go on top. So I thought I'll do a three tier on top and I cut round a bowl to get a smaller circle. I just went for a rough sort of size and um, yeah, it worked really well. So I did exactly the same with that sponge as I did with the big sponge and um, put the jam and the buttercream and then crumb coated it because I'm about to stick this sugar paste on. So the main cake had to be pink because I am so girly. Um, so I find working with sugar paste really hard. I really need to watch some more videos on how you do this part because this part I find it really tricky. Um, so I'm not very good at it, but I do my best. Um, and yeah, I rolled it out and then I'm going to just smooth it all out as much as I possibly can around the edges. And then I will be doing my second cake to go on top, which is going to be lilac. I was going to do white and then I just thought I'll go for lilac because... I don't know, I just wanted a colour. So I've got my colour, um, food colouring, lilac food colouring. And I use like a paste and they work so well. They are so strong, so much better than the liquid stuff you get. And um, the colour comes out beautifully. So I was just rubbing that into some white sugar paste and then rolling it out to put it on top of my little cake, which I'll then put on top of my big cake. So it was a lot easier to smooth it out on a smaller cake. I don't know whether maybe I roll out too much icing. I'm not really sure. I don't really know what I'm doing with it. As I said, I really do need to watch some more tutorials on how you do it properly, which I do always mean to do, but I'm a very busy mum. So now I'm going to make a couple of mushrooms to go on top, like toadstool sort of things. So I got a white and I got a pink and um, I just formed the bottom of the, like the stalk with my hands, just rolled it into like a, an oval shape and then I cut some circles, which I used the end of a piping nozzle for the spots on them. And yeah, they came out quite nicely. I used some cocktail sticks to secure them in the top of the cake. And now I'm gonna make the little fairy. So I've made her little legs out of some peach sugar paste. Just rolled them and then I made her little skirt and I had to cut that by hand because I didn't have a flower shape cutter. I had to cut like a flower sort of petal shape and then lay that out and, um, and now I'm making her body. So I've just rolled out a little bit of pink for her body and I'm making her arms out of peach. And then I'm gonna roll her head and just get it like a cute sort of like big circle sort of shape. Um, and her eyes, I used some black food coloring for those. So I just painted on some black food coloring. I'm really happy with how she turned out. I think she came out so cute. I was really impressed with myself for making her. Um, I did make sure I used some cocktail sticks to put through her, to secure her onto the cake and secure like her body and head together. And then I got some brown sugar paste for her hair. 
and I made a little bun on top. So I just rolled some sugar paste and then I made some curly bits just to hang down the side of her face. And I think she's absolutely adorable. I also got some little bits of um, pink sugar paste to put on her cheeks. So she's got little rosy cheeks. And I bought some flower, um, like sugar paste petals. So I put one of those on her hair as a just to look cute. And then piped some buttercream around the edge because obviously the edge is always messy. So I piped some pink buttercream all around the edge and it just neatens up the cake and it really brings it all together and gives it a good like finished look. So I wasn't sure what to do for my design, but I bought these little petals in Sainsbury's, little daisies and flowers. Um, and yeah, I just sort of randomly decided I would just stick those all around the cake. So I stuck those all over the cake and I used some jam to hold them on. I also bought some pink glitter from a baking shop online and I put that all over the cake just to give it a lovely sparkle, um, which I really liked. It fit really nicely into the buttercream and it just made the cake look really pretty. Um, I forgot to film me cutting out her name. I've got some shape cutters and I cut out Flossie and you'll just see me sticking the last hat on now because I forgot to film it. Um, but yeah, I put her little name on the front. It was just quite simple. This is me just pouring the glitter over the top of the cake. I was just sort of sprinkling it on and then rubbing it over the name and um, just, yeah, just sprinkling it all over the cake. And I think it's so cute. I think it came out so well. I'm so happy with the little princess. I used a couple of little meringues I bought from Sainsbury's just to stick them on top, just as a little bit of decoration. And I'm so happy with it. So that's everything for my video, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it interesting and you liked seeing me make my little Flossie's cake. If you have any questions, please do ask me and any comments, please leave them below. And hopefully I will see you all on my next video.